Hello my fellow YouTubers and probably Minecrafters. Uh, welcome to the first in a long line of uh, videos I'm going to be making in Minecraft. Um, I'll be showing off today one of my mega builds that I designed. It took me almost a year to make. Well, really just be, you know, between a busy schedule and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I'm a huge Assassin's Creed fan, and I think that if you are as well, you'll appreciate this a lot. So, here we go. Beneath this scenic little meadow lies a huge <coughs> assassin guild. Now, this is the main chamber. It's about, I think, I calculated it to be about 60,750 blocks of like, uh, that I had to remove to make this space. Um, I made this with a buddy icon in Microsoft Paint that just kind of went pixel by pixel. And uh, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> but anyway, have a bunch of pews here. Um, this place is for formal functions in the guild, like uh, inducting a new member into the order. Like here would be the uh, furnace or whatever that you use to heat up the thing for the finger mark. And uh, yeah, so this is the main chamber. Like it a lot, very majestic. And other than the main hall, we have several training areas and the like. So here I have a library and engineering school behind a secret door. This is my library. It's about 20 blocks tall. Um, I haven't organized it yet with any signs, but I will do in the future. Uh, I was thinking of doing it maybe floor by floor by floor. Um, with each of the uh, canon console games, you know, number one, number two, Brotherhood, and I'll perhaps add in more floors when there uh, come to be more games. Um, we have a bunch of con, well, not conference tables, but study tables where people can discuss what they read and uh, maybe, I don't know, collaborate on some plans, whatever, read alone, read with a group, whatever you want. In here we have my engineering school. Leonardo da Vinci can't make all the uh, gadgets for all the assassins by himself, so <laughs> we have a whole team of engineers we'll be training. Um, just the basic classroom. Everybody's got a crafting table. Here's a rudimentary blackboard. Um, if you can think of any ways of making this look even better, please let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback and ideas. We'll all be better Minecrafters for it. Moving along to the next area. This is my free run and advanced assassination training area, which also doubles as a barracks. Because I figured if you're going to do some Assassin's Creed parkour and free running on buildings, why not just make the buildings into barracks? Every room in uh, well, pretty much all these houses is just filled with beds. I could probably house about, you know, several hundred assassins here. I mean, maybe I'll give each one a chest, something to keep their belongings in. Although, uh, well, they don't all, maybe they won't all get a chest, but um, still it's a good idea, I guess. Uh, other than that, uh, we have... This is the best you can really do for, you know, making a climbable wall on a building. I know it doesn't look very pretty, but this is a training area, you know. It's not meant to be super aesthetically impressive. Um, as for the free run parkourable features, best I could do is, well, give you your white sheet stair steps things up onto half block um, poles like you run across in the game. Here's my impression of a uh, clothesline, although I would really like some <laughs> feedback and uh, ideas for this because this looks silly. looks like I'm running across little pizza boxes. But uh, anyway, I also have this, which is my prototype of uh, a swing pole that you would find in the game, you know, swinging with the hands or like a lantern that you grab onto to swing across corners of buildings. 
and uh, it works pretty well. I um, made it using Invetted. I hacked in a still water block and placed it under a wood half block, and it looks it works pretty well, as you can see. Gets a little bit annoying to have to rig it so that it all works together, though. Sometimes it doesn't work. But uh, anyway, here we have my special assassination area. This is for stuff like in the hay bale, whatever. It's meant to look pretty much exactly like uh, Leonardo da Vinci's backyard in, uh, in the second game. Um, this is the best I could do with a haystack, just a little sandbox, basically. No way of really hiding it. You probably have to role play by, I don't know, crouching or whatever, making it, uh, you know, do the hiding thing. You just jump out, grab him, whatever. Uh, this is the air assassination one. Climb up onto the ledge, jump on his head, and he's dead. And then this one, probably the most challenging one, is the ledge assassination. You probably want to try and get as low as possible so that you don't feel absolutely stupid. Well, I guess you can never really get below his head, so you'll just have to ignore his head if you're the guard role-playing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you just grab and pull him over, and whatever. And uh, last in this room, we have a courtyard, which I thought would be good for running away from guards, you know, to simulate a good city crowd. You have just, uh, you know, good city crowd here, and they can run through them, try and topple them, slow down the guards, whatever. But this place also doubles as a food court slash, I don't know, social area. These tables can be extended and retracted. Probably better to bring it down, though, for uh, training. And uh, I would say that's it for the free run area. Pretty cozy, I think. Now, on the other side of the room, I would say we have slightly more advanced training areas, like what we're coming up to right now is combat. This is a pretty small area compared to the other ones that I've shown you so far and have yet to show you. Um, but in Assassin's Creed, you know, combat is... Well, I won't say it's limited, but, you know, there's not too much to it. I mean, basically, we have here a gym for basic sword play, um, up here for advanced sword play, like when you're on a rooftop and you can be easily knocked over. Uh, pretty big punishment if you suck at it. <laughs> but um, And we also have a shooting range for, you know, projectiles like throwing knives and the hidden gun, stuff like that. And also, every room, I mean, well, re every uh, piece of this area is rigged for different difficulties so that you can have, on these four posts you see around the gym, uh, you can station archers and have them firing on you while you're in the middle of a fight. Makes it a lot more like the uh, actual Assassin's Creed game. And here we have a lot of training swords and unfortunately real arrows. It would be nice to have some training arrows, but those don't exist. Unless there's a mod for that. Never knew how to install mods, but whatever. That's the end of the combat area. And now probably the most extensively worked on one the Stealth, Infirmary, and Factions area. You'll notice immediately that the Stealth area is much less lit because, well, you're going to be sneaking around. You need darkness to do that. Um, but other than the Stealth, we also have the... This is our kind of main office building, which is really just <laughs> three desks. This is the main Assassin registration. You just walk in, sign up if you're new. Here is the desk for stealth training, where um, you can ask the concierge for uh, whatever difficulty level of stealth you want. I think what I'll do is I'll have a bunch of levers put back there on the wall, maybe, so that um, they'll turn them on, and through a series of redstone knot gates going behind the walls, it'll go up to the roof where they'll have a uh, redstone torches there, and I think will have sort of a system for the difficulty settings, like one torch lit can have, you know, guards stationed around, two, uh, two torches is guards and notoriety, full notoriety, so that they spot you quicker, 